YouTube, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue, rocking the apron, about to get busy, and we're gonna cook pulled pork today, right? I'm gonna do a Boston butt. Uh, it's about six pounds ish, and then we're gonna put it on Big Bertha today. Just felt like bringing her out, firing her up. Uh, yeah, for a little six pounder, but hey, it's my grill, right? You don't like it? Cook your own. But anyway, now nah, I'm gonna show y'all the steps on how to cook this, how long you keep it in. What do you do during the entire process, or what I do during the entire process, maybe to help somebody out there, um, like it is. Free information, I'm just sharing with y'all, having fun. Uh, room for my my team here, you see them, down in Florida, room for the Gators. Go Gators, need them to win so I can go to the SEC Championship in December. Come on, baby. I know if they play Alabama, it's going to be crazy, but the point is they make it. So, cross my fingers, hope they beat uh, the teams they need, South Carolina, LSU, or at least beat South Carolina and Tennessee and Kentucky lose, and we in the championship. So this is a big day for me. Um, rocking the shirt right here, you see U.S. Navy. Uh, you probably don't know about CPO, none of that stuff. But anyway, uh, this is Veterans Day weekend, and of course I'm a veteran. I'm actually, for those that don't know, because I don't really talk about it, I am currently in the Navy, still in, 21 years, still holding it down doing great things so uh, yeah shout out to everybody all the veterans uh, those who've gone before me and those who will continue to go after me so shout out to those guys love y'all uh, anyway back to what we was talking about so yeah do a pull pork we're gonna knock that out we're gonna go in the house and uh I'll tell you a little story once I get in there about the pull pork uh, and then we'll go from there then we'll come back out um, make sure my temps are good to go throw it on I'm gonna show you how I put it on in the beginning for the first two hours because I'm in pumping as much smoke as I can into it. Keynote, if you had not looked at one of my other videos, smoke, I pump smoke till about 160 to 165 degrees because that's when the meat starts to get bitter. So if you ever had somebody barbecue it, it straight tastes like smoke, that's because they didn't cover it up or they kept pumping wood into it after it hit 160, 65 degrees. That's including brisket, ribs, you name it. If you don't know how to control your fire, and I want to, I ain't going to say I'm an expert, but I want to say I'm a beast at controlling the fire. I still uh, stop pumping my wood so hard. And I'll turn around and, and I'll show you some tricks for, for that, right? But you have to learn your grill. You can use the same identical grill and cook totally different. So that's a keynote fun fact for the day. So let's go on into this kitchen to get started, y'all. See you in the kitchen. All right, YouTube, we back. And let me be the first to say I apologize. Let me turn this so you can see it a little bit closer. This is a pork butt, and my son told him last night, hey man, we need to go ahead and uh, inject this pork butt so that we can uh, put it on the smoker today, All right? I told him I was shooting a video, and he didn't wake me up, and I woke up this morning, it's Saturday, yesterday was Veterans Day. Woke up. And it was already the season. So I want to say I apologize for you guys not seeing the actual pork butt in the original wrap. Um, I can tell you it was 6.22 pounds. Uh, so do the math on that. I average on my cooks when I base it is an estimate of a, an hour and 15 minutes per pound. So you do the math on that, a six pound uh, pork butt is probably going to be about eight hours, right? Maybe eight-ish. But don't go off that. You have to go on the internal temps. And I'll show you when I whip out my thermopin to, to test the temps on it because that can change. You get stall points in your pork butts and briskets and stuff like that. So, like I want to apologize um, for this particular one. I did inject it um, with one of my secret concoctions. I will not show it to you until I do a ham for... Thanksgiving. So sorry, I ain't gonna show you that on this. I'm gonna save it for that video and then I'll refer to this video in reference to what I'm using to inject it. Um, just because I want to show you the bottle. So if you want to look it up, things of that nature, you can go from there. So I will see you guys outside. Once again, I apologize for that. Um, key note, I just took this out of the refrigerator. I just lit up my uh, smoker or started a fire. You want to let this sit out for about 45 minutes to an hour. Reason being is when you take it out, if you if I just took it right out of the refrigerator, um, it's good in season. I can smell it through the, the, the little plastic wrap. But uh, if you go ahead and sit it on the grill, what's going to happen is your grill will go from, say, 300 degrees 
to about 225 in a matter of about 10 to 15 minutes because you're introducing a cold piece of meat. This may not be rough, you know, big enough to make drastic change, but taking something about 10 pounds, the average size, and, and putting it directly on the grill straight out of the refrigerator, or it's going to drop your tips down. And what it's going to do is now you prolong your cook because now if this piece of meat is, I don't know, say you want it to be closer to room temperature, if it's 40 degrees coming out of the refrigerator, you got to wait for that cook, the, the, uh, your meat to come back up the temp before it even start cooking. You know what I mean? Plus, you like rushing your cook. So you definitely want it to come to not all the way to room temperature. Um, key note is don't play with chicken like that. You take your chicken out maybe 10 to 15 minutes before you put it on the grill because you don't want to introduce salmonella and things like that. But for a piece of ham or a piece of beef, um, you can definitely do that with. But like I said, don't play around with chicken uh, or you have the uh, the bubble guts, as we call it, uh, later on, you know, or, or food poisoning from salmonella. But anyway... We'll see you at the grill and let's get busy. Peace. What's up, YouTube? We back. Got the Boston butt right here, about to pull it in. Had to recruit the services of my wife for just for a minute. You know what I mean? Why? Because uh, I need to hold this door. Actually, maybe I don't. Now that I'm on a, a level playing field. Actually. Yeah. There we go. About to go ahead and uh, take my Boston butt off and I'm going to show you what I'm about to do. All right. Fat cap, up. You know, a lot of people gonna wonder about that. Yeah, let's do it over here. I'm gonna take my pan with all my juices and sit it under cause, cause I wanna catch the juices for later. And then we're gonna let this thing go for a while. I'm not even gonna open this for another two hours. I'm um, just gonna pump smoke to it. Uh, and then I'll come back and uh, show you what I'm doing next in about two hours. So. I'm gonna go ahead and hit start on that. My hands a little greasy. Start on the screen. Start. You don't see start? Hit it. I am. There we go. All right. Counter starting. I don't know if you can see that. Can they see that? All right, cool. We're gonna start it so y'all can see live times on how this cook, and how long it takes me to do it from start to finish, man. So we'll see y'all in about two hours, man. All of Hey, but before I go, I want to show you. On this ready check, it said 234 degrees. And that's in part to two different things. One, I just opened the door and just, you know, just warmed up Florida, right? But at the same token, this temp right here, when you open the door up and you introduce a piece of cold meat, remember I told you the temp will drop? Well, try not to keep it open too long. And uh, I'm assuming this will probably stay out at about 250. So I'll throw out my heat back because I'm going to cook about 225 to 250 all day long. So just a note, just want to show y'all that. So I'll be back in two hours, like I said, and then we'll go from there. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. B. We back. It's at approximately, hold on, let me check this and see what the time is. Let me show you guys. All right, here you go. Let me get a close-up. What was that? Two hours and almost five minutes, all right? Time to check this. Pork shoulder. Give you guys a close up real quick. All right, this thing is so juicy. I don't even need to spritz it right now. The fat cat, the fat cat, which is on top, is still rendering down. Um, this one is injected, so right now, um, if you can see, let me give you another close up. You can probably still see juices on it. So I don't need to spritz it right now with anything. So I'm just gonna close it back up. Probably come back in another two hours, man. Like I said, this is a long cook. Let me show you what my internal temp is. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says 108. Oh, hold on. Let me get my remote terminal. All right. Just makes it a little easier for you. 108, so I don't even have to come out here. I can sit right here. I can, hell, I've been in my neighbor's house uh, over there, if you see him. And uh, yeah, he's pretty much, uh, and sit there and just talk to him while it's going on. So, like I said, this is a ready check, if you, if you care to know. Um, has 
funny story real quick. Um, let me show you. All right, there we go. This unit has two sides on one for form, one for a piece of meat and one for uh, temps on the grill. Well, as you can see, I only have one one cord coming out of here, and that's just my my internal food temp. Uh, what I did was I actually clipped the cable. I wasn't using these little ports on here. Make sure you get those, man. I got. Let me show that. One of these on each side. And that's for these cables going into it. For, uh, you know, running your, your, your uh, temp cables in. I even got one for my warmer right here. All right? Make sure you uh, use those. I was being dumb and uh, took, didn't, didn't use this. And I ran my cable inside the door and plugged it onto the, uh, the grate for my temps. And uh, lo and behold, close the door. Of course, you know what happens when you close the door up on something, right? Cut it off. So lo and behold, I'm waiting on one to come in the mail, replace the one that I uh, messed up. So I deal with it for now. Like I said, my temp on this pulled pork is 109 degrees. I'm waiting to 160, so I'm gonna keep pumping, pumping that 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 wood in there, uh, real hard. And then once it gets to about 160, I'm gonna put it back in the uh, aluminum pan, wrap it up. That's when it starts to tenderize. I don't have to worry about this, the the meat being bitter. Hopefully I don't even have to spray it, man. This is my first time injecting a, a, a pork butt instead of, uh, you know, just, you know, putting it, putting it in a bag, letting it sit in some kind of uh, solution or something. But we're going to see, man. I may not even have to spritz this today, which would be awesome, man. That would be awesome. So we'll see. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit, another two hours. Peace. All right, YouTube. We'll make this real quick because I need to open this up and uh, go ahead and wrap it up. This, uh pork butt uh, if you can see that temp 165 all right let me show you the time how long it took me to get from refrigerator temp to 415 416 almost all right aluminum foil remember we talked about that 20 bucks Costco put on my little rubber gloves since I need to pick up this pork butt uh, one of the things you'll see me do is take the pork butt and do, you know, I said fat cap up. Now I'm going to take the fat cap and put it down into the uh, the brown sugar and stuff. Reason being is because you know, we got brown sugar in there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's melted. I'll take that out real quick. Take my thermometer gauge out. I want you to see that. You see that? That's juice. Number juice. I'm gonna stick it. Uh, flip it over. Yep. Real quick, take this one on four. Double wrap it, insulate it. Remember I told you the shiny side is the side that needs to be on the meat. And I'll do one more just to cover the other end. Make this real simple. Doesn't have to be pretty. You want it airtight. So when it goes back in, it's going to sit in those juices. I just stick it up. I'm going to stick it back in here. I'm going to take, since this is pretty hot, I'm going to take my probe and stick it directly in the meat. temp on the uh, the gauge now 165 so that uh, pork butt is still at that same temp like I said we're gonna let it cook till it uh, gets 
I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna shoot for 205. 205 with the aluminum foil on, that Boston butt gonna fall apart. So, I'll show you what happens next after this. Like I said, it'll probably be about, I don't know, another two, three hours. Uh, I'm assuming about two hours with the aluminum foil on, we'll see. Um, play it by ear. Like I said, my clock's still going, four hours, 18 seconds. Um, four hours, 18 minutes, and 58 seconds, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we'll keep that going, and then I'll show you the time at the end once I pull it. It's probably gonna get dark here because I didn't start to about 12, uh, lighting the fire, and not to mention time has changed, so I lost an hour barbecuing. That sucks. Uh, well, that just means I need to get up that much early, but anyway, uh, I'll be back in a little while, man, when it gets to uh, 205. Stick with me. What's up, YouTube? This is Mr. B, and we back. Uh, like I said, it's dark out here at doggone 7.53 p.m. Uh, hold on, let me see. I'll show you the time real quick so you can get a... Maybe you can get a close-up of that. There we go. 7.18 is the time. Steady going. I got my light right here, so hopefully I can give you a good look. Just want you to show something real quick. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. 2.14, that's what it's saying my temp is. I waited till it got 205 and then waited like 10 more minutes to let it sit at that temp. And it says 214, but it just got there. So I'm gonna put these gloves on real quick and take it out. Hopefully I can give you a sneak peek. Uh, I have no clue what this looks like. No clue. All right. Let's see. I hope it's not too hot. So what I'm gonna end up doing is taking it and putting it in the. Uh, I got a small cooler that I'm gonna go get real quick. And uh, man, let me let y'all get a good look at this. Let me give you a good. One. light uh hopefully y'all can see that awesome view all right i know it's hot but i'm gonna try this little bone oh yeah that's gonna slide right oh that's hot slide right out anyway uh go ahead and wrap this back up like i said we're gonna sit it in the cooler for about uh i'm gonna do an hour just because it's in a cooler Wrap this up. Let me show you my little cooler. Hold on. Bam! Little cheap cooler I got from the dollar store or whatnot. So I'm gonna show y'all how I do this. Uh, man, this tripod is sweet. Uh, hold on. Hey, sorry about that, y'all. Had to run in the house real quick, get my towel. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this up. My handy blue towel, just a little beach towel or whatever. Wrap it up. And stick it in the cooler. And close the lid. That's it. Easy day. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit in the house. I'm going to take it out so you can see it. All right, be back. All right, YouTube. Got my handy dandy bear claws. I'm going to take this thing out the cooler. See what it looks like. I can feel the heat radiating off this thing. this thing look like 
pan that had it though. Still a little warm. Look at that. You talking about tender? That's enough said right there, ain't it? Can't even lift it up. Man, I'm just trying to lift it up to get it. Huh? That says enough? Woo! That's enough said, ain't it? Ah, spilling stuff. Like don't kill me, I got juice all on the counter. It's still hot, y'all. Y'all can see the steam coming off. But this goes to show you how easy it is to do pulled pork, man, without doing it in a crock pot. And I just did this in a big on a big smoker. It's just that easy. Like I said, that right there, the key to all this is if you got skills, this should come off naked. Nothing on it, nothing on it. My dog's gonna love to chew on that. Yes, sir. Before I go, just wanted y'all to see this finished product. Got the leftover bone and all that craziness. And the finished product. And the yuckiness, the juice, or whatever, all juice or whatever you want to call it. But anyway, that's the finished product. Pulled pork, y'all. No sauce. Where your skills at? Holla.